And to be in this position um, is a testament to, to our group really locking in, understanding how we needed to play to get to this point. And, um, and, and playing in Boston, it's, it's big. Well, that's a wrap for the regular season, and the Boston Celtics closed it out on a high note with the 139-2-110 victory over the Memphis Grizzlies as they clinched the number two overall seed in the East. Now, Ime Odoka did not rest the starters for this final game, but the majority of them played around the 25-minute mark as the bench was able to get some extended run in this matchup as well. The Celtics held a dominant 23-point lead at halftime and continued to separate themselves in the second half to pull away with the win. In postgame, the team reflected on how far they have come this year and the adjustments they made since the start of the season as they found their identity. We, you know, told the guys congrats on the regular season, finishing 51 and 21, or I'm sorry, 31, second place finish and being one of the best teams record-wise and plus minus and offensively, defensively since, since February. So, um, you know, the rocky start, we adjusted, got healthy, uh, kind of bought into everything and kind of hit the ground running in February. So. We always stayed optimistic as far as that and uh, to do what we've done. Obviously proud of that. It was exciting, man. Um, you know, uh, I don't know if mid-January we could have <laughs> this was a possibility, you know, so we would have, uh, you know, we would have settled for like, man, we just got to make sure that we get to like 6-5 type thing. And, um, and to be in this position um, is a testament to, to our group really locking in, understanding how we needed to play to get to this point. And, um, and playing in Boston, it's it's big. I just think we found our rhythm, and you know, guys started playing really well, and we found our identity, and you know, so I think for years to come, now we we should be a, a team that's going to make a playoff push every time, a championship push. Now it's a waiting game for the Celtics and their next opponent for round one of the playoffs as they'll face the winner of the Brooklyn Nets Cleveland Cavaliers series that begins on Tuesday night.